This is a quick video showing you how to plot and find the intercept points of a linear relation using your class pad. Okay, let's do this example here. So question 6a, we've got the linear relation 3x plus y equals 12. The tricky thing about doing this on the calculator is that the calculator does not plot um, graphs that, uh, or functions rather, that are not in the form y equals. You could transpose this by hand, um, but I want to show you how to do, do that on the calculator first of all. So action, advanced, and solve is the function that we're after. I type in the function 3x, whoops, that's not x, whoop, edit, action, advanced, solve. 3x plus y equals 12. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to make y the subject. If y is the subject, then this calculator will plot this graph for us. So we put comma and y, close our brackets, and execute. All right, there's the transposed equation now, y equals negative 3x plus 12. Next step, actually put the equation into um, the, the thing that, that manages you know, the graphs that we're attempting to plot. So the way I do that is I hit this down arrow here and select this option here, it's y1, y2. You can see here I've done a few earlier, so I'm going to clear them. Okay, so we want to get this down to here we can type it in manually or with the stylus I simply highlight what I'm after and drag it down. Okay, so to plot it we need to check the box and then we can just hit this function or this button here, the, the graph and it's graphed, us, uh, graphed, uh, it's graphed it for us. Now plus 12 is actually off the screen so if I try to get the y-intercept this calculator won't find it for me so what I'm going to get it to do is to um, adjust the screen dimensions there's no really easy way of doing this but what I might try first of all is do an auto zoom on it okay and the auto zoom generally will adjust the screen according to um, the graph if you haven't come up with a graph at all, okay, make sure you go back and check that the box is ticked. Um, remember also that the graph can form off the page, that is it might not might be out of the dimensions. So you hit this button here and this will allow you to manually change the dimensions. Okay, so that's our graph. I want to get the x-intercept and y-intercept. I go to analysis, g-solve, ycal, I put an x value of 0 in and that will tell me the value of y when x equals 0. That is, it will give me the y-intercept. There it is, it's 0, 12. So I can just write that down on my piece of paper. Uh, it is 0, 12. That's my first point. So 0 on the x-axis, y on the y-axis. Uh, 12 on the y-axis. Okay, now I can do the same thing, analysis, g-solve and xcal, a y value of 0 um, will give us the x-intercept. That happens at x equals 4, y equals 0. So I'll just write that down on my piece of paper, x equals 4, y equals 0. These are the two points I need to sketch my graph on paper. So I set up my axes, you're going to do it much more neater than this and there's 12 on the y-axis, 4 on the x-axis, draw my straight line in inverted commas there, make sure I label this, this was the graph, 3x plus y equals 12. Okay, and the last thing I need to make sure I do is label it, so 4 comma 0 is that point there, and this point here is 0 comma 12. You can see my writing's not that good with a stylus, but um, you get the point anyway.